All right, Sarah, thanks a lot. CBS 42 News is your local election headquarters. This morning, a look at the Alabama race for governor. Our focus, Democratic candidate Sue Bell Cobb. She officially kicked off her campaign this week, this morning. She joins us live here at CBS 42, and we welcome you to the morning show. Thank you, artist. It's wonderful to be here this morning. It's good to see you. And let's jump right into that big three-letter word, why. Why should <laughs> voters choose Sue Bell Cobb? Art, voters should pick Sue Bell Cobb because I'm running for all the right reasons. Alabama's got some significant challenges, and I want to fix the big problems that are holding us back. My goal really is to make Alabama the envy of the South, and we've got to invest in ourselves. You know, we've got to believe in ourselves, and we've got to have honest, transparent government and bold leadership because the other states are just leaving us in their dust. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about your priorities in just a moment, but I've got to talk about what happened at Huffman High School. Yes. It, it's certainly not the same thing as an active shooter situation mm -hmm. that we've seen happen at too many high schools, but still it does raise questions about guns in schools. What should be done about that? Should teachers be armed with weapons? At, teachers do not want to be armed. Teachers should not be armed. You know, I have a son that's in the FBI, and there's tremendous training that goes on just to tell you when not to shoot and when to shoot, and that takes so much expertise. And uh, no, teachers should not be armed. We've got to make sure that our schools are safe, mm -hmm. uh, and we do not obviously want guns on school property. Yeah, you know, you said your first step to getting Alabama on the right track is to pass a lottery. How does that right the ship here? Well, right now we're desperate for funds. Uh, the, the lottery, people are going out of state right now to buy lottery tickets. So we're supporting, you know, the school systems in our surrounding states. With my proposal, I call it the Lifelong Learner Lottery. $300 million a year will, will come into the state of Alabama. And with my proposal, that will go to fully fund four-year-old kindergarten. That will have a sliding scale for child care. It'll fully fund career tech. So a lot of the kids that would ultimately end up with, without a job, without a skill, will have access to 21st century uh, vocational education. And then the balance would go to pay the gap for Pell Grant so that everyone, if they're 18, want to go on and further their skills uh, or go to college, or if they're 40 and have lost their job and need to be retrained, if they qualify for a Pell Grant, which is just based on income, they would be able to go to school for free. The All of these, these will be thousands of extra jobs, mm -hmm. and those jobs will be in every single county, that's extra money that will be going into the education trust fund. With those dollars, I know that we can work to do a better job keeping our children safe. All right, pushing the lottery, of course. Senator Doug Jones found out his path to victory was the African American vote was crucial to his victory. On the Democratic side, it would probably be you and Walt Maddox mm -hmm. battling out mm -hmm. for, for that vote. What's your message to that voting block? Well, I, I they, what I've done in my life has truly resonated. I've been a judge for 30 years, and so judges' problems in this state are not theoretical to me. I've seen them. They're real to me. And what I've done through my career is really is a focus on equal justice. It's also been a focus on making sure, you know, that we, with the courts are accessible to people and doing the right thing. You know, with my, I received a national award for the largest increase in model drug courts in the nation. And that's just one area where if we put funding, you know, toward those that are, have got substance abuse issues, and mental health issues, you know, that we can actually make ourselves safer. And we, what I did is ask the judges, listen, let's work harder, let's do a better job and make sure we're actually fixing people, not just filling prisons. So I think my experience of running a branch of government, the judiciary, and all that I did to try to fill the gap fill the gaps, mm -hmm. actually set me apart from all the others running. There is so much to talk with you about, so we decided to make sure that we talk to you Facebook Live. We're going to be there right at 7 o'clock, and right. we're going to continue this, this discussion for as long as it takes. So go ahead and get your questions ready for Sue Bell Cobb, who is the one of the Democratic candidates for governor. Thanks for coming in. Thank you, and Art. We'll talk it's to great you to be here.